partner with us here at the Equality Center and Jordan, I'm sure if you would like to work uh, for helping individuals who are undocumented, making sure they're safe and secure and that they are protected and advocating for them, Jordan, hold your hand up and wave. You talk to Jordan after this, okay? Will you do that? This time, uh, Mark Lewis, who has done so much uh, to raise the awareness of us calling our elected officials to be transparent. But on election day, I found Mark Lewis at Pine and, what's that intersection there? It's Union, uh, yeah. Where uh, over about 500 people have been standing in line for three hours um, to vote. Um, only place in the state of Oklahoma that that was happening. And yet it was, uh, it's Tulsa, but it's Oak Ridge County. And I was told over and over again that day, uh, Mark's team reached out to us and we took folding chairs for the elderly and bottled water and Halloween candy, which was a quite a hit. And, um, and, and Snick, Snickers and Kit Kats and things like that. Um, but it was so touching to me that Mark had witnessed that. He was able to get them on board, make Osage County do the right thing, but they were still voting till 10 o'clock that night. Um, so, you have to ask yourself, why are we restricting people's rights to vote? Why are we setting up impediments? Is it because we're afraid if they have a voice, they might not agree with us. And so that's, right. that's not what America is. We don't have to agree. We have to support each other. So I'm Mark Lucas. Get up for Toby. Yeah. Come on, Toby. Y'all can do better than that. Y'all can do better than that. And Toby is right. He answered the call. We put it out there. I mean, it's classic voter suppression. And we were there. We put out the call. I couldn't do so much because I was an elector and I didn't want to make it seem as if that we were trying to buy votes. But you 